In today's video, we're going to go over section 6.2, x-axis issues, and 7.2, the y-axis belt tension. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. All right, let's jump right into section 6.2, x-axis issues in Luke's help guide. Uh, some of the common things are ghosting in the x-axis vertical face of the prints, as you can see in this picture. Um, ovular circles or oval circles, you'll really be able to tell that when you're printing. And a corner overrun, so if your belts are loose, sometimes your hot end will just run over the corners and not stop where it's supposed to. So let's jump right in and get this handled. So to fix this, we're going to go ahead and check the tension and tighten the x-axis belt. By doing that, we're going to have to start by loosening these two screws here. We're going to use the uh, Allen wrench that came with the kit and go ahead and loosen both those screws now. So once they're both loose, we're going to finish loosening that last screw there and it should get a totally loose belt just like that. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is pull on the pulley evenly and a little bit hard and go ahead and tighten the... Oh, I dropped my wrench there. Go ahead and uh, tighten the first screw. So you're holding onto the pulley, giving a good pressure. And we're going to go ahead and tighten the first screw just like that. And then as long as you think it's straight in there, make sure you tighten the second screw in so it's holding itself in place. I'm just going to double check the first one. And you should be good. Now make sure everything rolls nice. Go ahead and grab your hot end and roll it back and forth. Make sure the belt is straight in that channel and it's rolling nice. And you can do a final tighten on those screws now. So when you're done tightening, you should be able to grab your belt and twang it up like this. So the next thing you want to do is just make sure your belt is rolling in the extrusion and uh, not rubbing on either side of that rail. So go ahead and just double check that. Slide your hot end back and forth. Just like that and make sure you're good if it is you may need to put a shim in one side or the other to make it more straight but in my case we're rolling pretty straight all right we got everything together and tightened everything's running straight as you can see in the picture here and we're good to go on the x gantry time to move on so now we go to section 7.2 the y-axis belt tension of uh, luke's help guide uh, some things in here, we got evidence of ringing in the vertical walls, as you can see in the picture, ghosting, and oblong holes in a Y plane. Well, let's fix that now. All right, this is the Y axis in the front of the Ender 3. And what we're going to have to do is go ahead and loosen the tension on this belt to start. Um, so if it's real loose already, uh, we're going to fix that. If it's too tight, we're going to fix that as well. The first thing we need to do is loosen four bolts, one, two, three, four, and that'll take the tension off of the belt on the Y axis. We're going to use the wrench that came with the kit and the small end and go ahead and loosen all four at this time. All right, so all four I broke loose, but it's still a little tight. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen them just a little bit more until the Y axis belt tensioner is completely loose, just like this. So the next thing we're going to do, he says to pull or leverage the Y-axis tensioner so it's got tension on the belt. And then go ahead and tighten one of the screws or bolts on each side. We're going to do that now. So after we got two tightened down, one, two, we're going to just go ahead and make sure it's sturdy and make sure the belt is pretty tight. And in my case, it looks like we're pretty good. Then we're going to roll the bed back and forth and watch the belt inside of that extrusion channel and just make sure it's not rubbing on one side or the other. Uh, it's hard to see here, but I'm pretty good. But it's easy to get it kind of turned off to one side or the other. So just make sure you're straight in there and your belt runs straight inside that channel and you should be good to go. So then the last thing we're going to do when we know this is rolling nice and smooth is just tighten up the last two screws on the Y axis. So once those are tight, we should be able to twang the belt like we did before. There we go. And that's it. You're good to go. So that's it. You should be back to this picture, which shows the belt running straight through the channel. And all four of your screws should be tight. You've now tightened your Y and your X axis belts, and you're good to print. 
I hope you guys learned something. Have a great day and keep printing. Please like the video, click subscribe if you want to see more, and click on the little bell if you want to be notified when the next great videos come out. Thank <laughs> you.